Hello everyone, welcome back to Into Sports. I'm your host Evan. Today I'm talking about Giannis, but before I do, please click that subscribe button. 94% of you are not subscribed. Do me a favor, click subscribe. But anyways, the Bucks are set to play the Brooklyn Nets in the second round of this NBA playoffs. But recently I posted my top five players in the NBA with Giannis Antetokounmpo not on the list. And all of the comments were, Giannis, 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 where's Giannis? But there's one reason Giannis was not in my top five, and it will cost the Bucks this series against the Nets. Giannis can't close games. Simple as that. What happens at the end of games? Pull up jumpers, threes off the dribble. That's not Giannis's game. He needs to get downhill and attack the cup with his incredible physical talent he can't really shoot it and that's why at the end of games Giannis takes a back seat and Chris Middleton closes games for Milwaukee so when I look at my top five players I see five closers I see five guys who take over in the clutch I see five guys who with a championship on the line I want taking the last shot and I don't see that in Giannis and neither does his coach Mike Budenholzer, who takes the ball out of the hands of the Greek freak and puts the ball into the hands of Chris Middleton. Okay, so how does this apply to this series, Bucks Nets? Well, Giannis will be the best player in this series for the first 46 minutes, but he will vanish during the final two. Okay, first of all, why the best player during the first 46 minutes? Well, the Nets can't guard bigs. To stop Giannis, they say you need to stop him from getting into the paint. You need to build a wall. But the Nets, they don't have the brick. They don't have the mortar to build a wall. Nobody on the Nets has even close to the combination of strength, speed, and size that Giannis has. So Giannis will average 40 a game this series. And that's not even a bold prediction or anything because that's exactly what he's averaged against the Nets in their three matchups this year. 40, 11, and five. He's been dominant. And he will continue to dominate for the first 46 minutes. But the police will need to file a missing persons report because Giannis will be nowhere to be found during the last two minutes of these games. And that's why the Nets are going to win this series. Brooklyn has arguably the three best closers in basketball the bucks have chris middleton and i like chris middleton but not compared to kevin durant james harden and kyrie irving and that is proven in the numbers the bucks are fifth in offensive rating but just 19th in offensive rating in clutch time clutch time being defined as a close game within five points in the last five minutes of that game so they go from elite offensively to below average when the rubber meets the road at the end of games. And that is a reflection of Giannis. Oh, and by the way, the Nets are fifth ranked in clutch time. That is going to be the difference in this series. So to me, Giannis's inability to close games is one of the main reasons, if not the main reason, he has underperformed in the playoffs so far in his career because in the regular season they play C cleveland on a random tuesday night he drops 35 they win by 15. nobody cares what he does in the final two minutes in fact he's probably on the bench because they're winning by so much but in the playoffs you have tougher opponents you have closer games and more of a microscope on your every move and he is unable to close out games he doesn't have a jump shot that's how games are closed so when you have a six or seven game series a couple of those games are going to go down to the wire they're decided in the last two minutes and that's when you need a guy who can close with his jump shooting lebron durant Kawhi, curry luca crunch time that's when they thrive the greek freak is a great player great and he's gonna dominate in this series like i already said but down the stretch his jump shooting 
his fatal flaw will be exposed. And that's when we are going to see the difference between Giannis and someone like Kevin Durant.